Okay, peeps, welcome back. So today we're going to go over our Bitcoin weekly technical analysis and give you guys an update on LTCN and BCHG, which is the Grayscale Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash Trust. Let's get it. So the first thing that I want to pull up here before we actually get into the price action is um, just so you guys know, we do actually own both LTCN and BCHG. You guys can see our positions right here. We are actually pretty substantially in the money, but as we've said before on this channel, we're not going to sell until we hit our profit targets or we're not going to begin. I shouldn't say sell. I should say we're not going to begin scaling out until we get to what our profit targets are, our expected targets. And we'll go over a video later in the future as to how we configure that, how exactly we go about, you know, when is a good time to stop buying, uh, um, predetermining what the profit target could be before we even get into the trade, how we plan to exit the trade, stuff like that. We'll we'll do a video later on that, but that's not what this is about. Uh, you guys can see we also have started a new position here, although that's not what this video is about, so we're going to talk about it later. Um, so yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into Bitcoin. So um, everything on the weekly chart so far is looking pretty bullish. As I'm sure you guys can see, we have a pattern drawn here on the weekly. So what is this? Well, basically, this is a technical term for a bull flag or a bullish pennant pattern. Um, now, do understand that not every bull flag pattern is going to look the same. Sometimes they look slightly different. But the general idea is if it is a bull flag, the price is moving up and then it kind of chops sideways and up or sideways and basically across and then it breaks out to the upside. That's generally what happens. So we have the bullish flag pattern pulled up here. You guys can see multiple different instances of what it looks like. Um, <clears throat> I would say this is a pretty good signal of what, or pretty good, uh, pretty good chart um, image of what exactly it is. We're looking at the Bitcoin chart, something similar to this, to the bullish pennant pattern. But uh, not every bull flag or bull pennant pattern is going to look the same. Sometimes they will look textbook perfect. Sometimes they'll look slightly different. It really depends on what the price action is. Um, again, nothing ever is perfect looking. So I would say this is this right here. This bullish pennant is kind of more what it actually looks like on Bitcoin. So we'll actually zoom in here and take a look at that. So I basically drew a couple lines from the top wicks and the bottom wicks. But if I were to do something like this to kind of really zoom in here, you would see that this looks very, very similar to this, except it's kind of moving diagonally upwards. But in any case, this is a bullish pattern. Um, I am expecting this to break out to the upside. So what is the target? Well, basically what we would be looking at is... Um, so how you want to measure this is from the bottom of the previous candle body, which is down here at 29,000, uh, basically to the top of the pennant or bull flag, and you move this to the breakout point. So pretty much from the breakout point to whatever the top is. So the measurement of the top, as you guys can see, is roughly about 46,500, which lines up perfectly with this uh, March-April time frame resistance here. So it does seem to be playing out pretty well in terms of confluence. Now, do notice that the um, price action of this is sit still sitting kind of more or less at resistance. I would say to firmly break out like a real serious confirmed breakout, we would need to probably get above a lot of these body candles here. So probably somewhere in, I would say at the very least, getting a body close above these candle bodies back here at 39 to 40,000. And then from that point, we should move pretty swiftly, I would think up to roughly about 47,000. It may chop around in this area a little bit before heading higher because there's a lot of support and resistance areas in this general zone in between these two macro zones here. But everything looks good on the actual chart itself. As you guys can see, we have multiple green weeks here. We're still green um, on the weeklies. It is slowly grinding up. And do understand that when Bitcoin generally grinds sideways, more or less, altcoins usually pump. That's what happens. So that's the Bitcoin price currently. 
something else that I want to point out is we are in overbought territory on the RSI. You can see if we really zoom in here, you can see this kind of green shade below the line that generally indicates that we're overbought. Does it mean we have to dump? No. Uh, could we dump? Yes, it's possible. Um, again, anything is possible in markets, especially in crypto. Crypto is extremely volatile compared to traditional stocks. But I'll give you guys another example of what it actually looks like to be overbought for a long time. So uh, pretty much bef after the habit, previous having, but before the bull market actually started taking place, before we basically started ripping past previous all-time highs on Bitcoin at that 20,000 mark, uh, we were in overbought territory from roughly about 13,000 or so on Bitcoin all the way up to the peak. Um, yeah, pretty much all the way up to the peak, more or less at roughly about 62,000. So we were in overbought territory from October until February until we actually started selling off. So you're talking like almost five months of being in overbought. And again, we had something similar happen here in um, 2019 with this mac or macro micro peak, I should say. Uh, but you guys can see it started going in overbought before it even peaked out. So this is kind of a lagging indicator, so to speak, just a little bit. And in 2017, we had this multi-year grind up to 20, roughly about 20,000. But you guys can see that we went into RSI overbought territory multiple times and did not actually have a huge sell-off until basically you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times of being overbought before we actually sold off. So keep that in mind. We could actually be in overbought territory for a long time before Bitcoin actually corrects. We're just now going into the entering stages of overbought territory. So with that being said, the MACD, the RSI are both in overbought territory. We did have this double or this uh, basically golden cross here on the EMAs. And that took place right in this zone here which is right around the same time that we had the basically triple golden cross where the MACD, the RSI and the EMAs all crossed to the upside. And then you guys can see we had this humongous move of roughly about 40, 40 to 45% somewhere in there to the upside. Pretty large move. Um, <clears throat> what do I think is going to happen in Bitcoin? Well, to be completely honest, it could go both ways. Bitcoin could correct back down maybe to the to the bottom of the zone you can see this previous support here on all these candles um, it could go down to thirty-one thousand and bounce back up um, as a result of being overbought in the rsi but do i think that's going to happen honestly no i don't think so i think um the probability favors the bulls right now if i'm being completely honest i mean we're seeing a pennant pattern on the weekly time frame uh, there's only one time frame that we look at that's bigger than this, and that's the monthly. And um, I mean, yeah, everything looks good. It looks like it's about to bust out of the resistance zone. Uh, MACD is moving up from the zero level. I have no reason to be bearish on this chart right now. So with that being said, let's get into LC LTCN and BCHG. So um, LTCN, as you guys know, is the Grayscale Litecoin Trust. So you guys can see we had this. MACD, where we were basically oversold, had a golden cross way back here, and we've slowly been grinding up ever since. So, yeah, I really got to zoom in here to see the MACD. But as you guys can see, the MACD is in bull territory. We The histogram is moving up. It's green. And the EMAs on the histogram are also moving up. So let's zoom in here and take a look at the actual price. So this is the price. I actually need to draw another zone in here. Give me a second. So uh, yeah, we got basically a buy zone, roughly about two to 260 a share. So you guys can see from this macro low here, we've pretty much slowly been grinding up. You got your higher lows and higher highs going on here. That's a That indicates a bullish trend. Um, so we have two more days on the weekly time frame on LTCN to close. If we close above these basically candle wick highs here, as you can see, we had one here, one here. This is known as a tweezer top. It's typically bearish. And we had this candle wick here. If we have a body close above these wicks at all, or even 
Like if the body of the candle itself closes anywhere above these previous bodies, like at the wicks or above the wicks, that's going to be very bullish for LTCN. And the next target that we would have after that point would be basically between 13 to as high as $15 per share. If we can get above that zone, then the next target would be 23 ish, 24, somewhere in there to about 26 bucks per share. So LTCN right now looking pretty good. We have two more days until the close. We'll just have to wait and take a look at that, see how it plays out. Um, now, in terms of basically where we expect LTCN to go in the long term, uh, once again, I would say probably $330 minimum as like a, a, perhaps an all-time high. Again, it could go much higher than that, as you guys seen. It's gone up to basically four hundred to five hundred dollars a share. Pretty much, I would say anywhere between three to five hundred could potentially be a long-term target for the next bull run. So, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and move over to BCHG. This is the Bitcoin Cash version. So, once again, we are pretty much bullish on the MACD. As you guys can see, we kind of had this sideways chop here on the MACD, but we are still above the zero level. Histogram is green. The EMAs here on the MACD are moving up. The RSI is also moving up above the 50 level, which is bullish. So we're going to go ahead and draw in the support and resistance zones so you guys know where those are. Uh, you're basically your macro um, support and resistance zones. So uh, these and keep in mind these zones can flip at any time like this resistance right here could easily become support if the technicals basically say that that's pretty much what's going to happen so we'll just draw a couple zones in here just so you all know what to look for more or less okay i would say that's probably good right there so MACD looks bullish, RSI looks bullish, the EMAs look bullish. You guys can see if we zoom in here, um, the EMAs did kind of cross like somewhere in this range of sideways chop around a dollar share or so, 80 cents to a dollar share. And we had this massive pop to the upside and we've been moving up on the EMAs ever since. So it does look bullish on BCHG. Um, but I would say in order for us to get more bullish, we need to see a candle body close above these previous candle bodies here at about 240 a share. And then we would want to see another close above roughly about 280 a share at these candle body tops here. Um, and basically, once it, that happens, once it moves beyond that point, we're looking at 380 a share all the way up to 415. Uh, so if you have an average price below $2 like we do, that's potentially a 2x on your money. Now, where do we think it could go long term? Well, basically, pretty much, I would say anywhere between roughly about 30, roughly about $37 a share all the way up to potentially as high as 60. Um, I, I mean, it, it kind of depends on what uh, Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin do, the underlines. I've noticed that there will be some days when the underlying is down, but the grayscale funds are up and vice versa. So it's kind of tricky to, to navigate that, but we'll just keep an eye on it. So anyways, hope you all enjoyed this content. Um, please let us know if you guys are bullish on any of these positions or if you have any more suggestions for us, let us know. and We'll try to get around to it. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you all later. Peace.